Good evening, everybody. I hope everyone can hear me for some reason. It told me my, it muted my mic just before I came on. So how is everyone? Thanks, Jason, for the handover. At, uh, I was listening in uh, in the background while I was running around here like a headless chicken trying to get everything ready. So let me just pull up the chat on my phone so I can see who's in. Yes, it was one of those evenings, just couldn't seem to uh, get everything sorted. Cars in the garage being fixed today, so we're down to one car, so it meant extra running around and just the day just gets away from you. And of course, my phone doesn't want to work. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to carry on doing the scenics all along here. Uh, the video that's out tomorrow is on the water, which I'll show you in a minute what I've done there. Um, channel members have already seen it. And a big thank you to my channel members for their support, especially uh, two new channel members, uh, Graham, who joined last week, and also uh, Pete from Delft Junction. I'll put a link to their channels up shortly. Uh, oh, there we are. This phone's working, so let me get into the chat. I'll skip the ads from uh, <laughs> my own video. Right, so I have a message saying people have joined me. So anybody who's come over from Jason's automatically, you're very welcome. You can see I was watching Jason's on TV and has automatically just gone on to mine. So let's go back and see who we've got in the house. Partick Hill Station, that's Charlie, how are you doing? Uh, Brian Madden, good evening, sir. Wolf Sex Scenery PW, Mick 92, Jerry BVR, Model Railway Shed Dino, Haunted Halloween Railway, that's Jake, and Simon at SJ Train World, Flymo Chairman, good evening, sir. Chris at Valley 56, Brian at Finchton Central, Model Railway, good evening. Dugmer Junction, good evening, sir. Ashley, uh, WCML train spotter. Uh, who else we got in? Uh, hi from H&H &H Express Model N Scale Trains, good evening. Tom Houston, Model Rail. Graham, Leamington Station, as I just mentioned. Graham, maybe you can put a link up to your channel there, Senior a Mod. He uh, became a channel member last week. For, thank you very much. Valerie Green, good evening. How are you doing, Valerie? Uh, Pete from Smallwood Junction. Anthony Dodge, the model training outsider. Good evening, Anthony. Uh, Christopher's Hobby Vlog. Good evening, Christopher. How are you doing? You and the Growler, Blackwood Engage. Good evening, sir. Uh, Robin Grace at RGJ Trains. Good evening. How are you guys doing? Uh, Simon Trains, Model Railway Showcase. Good evening, Simon. How are you doing? Peter Jackson, Cheeto Heath. Good evening, sir. Uh, Leslie Gilpin Railways, good evening. Oh, they're all flying in now. Hannings Rest Model Railway, good evening, sir. How are you keeping? Soldier Dan the Man, good evening, sir. Uh, have we got anyone else in now? Mark Stanover Model Railway, good evening, sir. How are you keeping? Right, I think I've caught up with the chat there, so I'll keep the chat in front of me so I can sort of keep an eye on it. As always, you got any questions or comments, put them in the chat. And anybody who's watching this uh, on playback, you can put your questions in, that in the comments. And you're all very welcome. Right, so what are we going to do? Right, first off, I will show you the waterfall and the water effects. Uh, say the video on it is out tomorrow. This has taken me absolutely ages to do because purely I had other things going on and it was just, I think it's taken me about four weeks to do this through mishaps where it leaked out and things didn't go right. And so I'll move the camera around and let's see if you can see the waterfall there. So there it is, there's the waterfall and the water feature. 
And um, what I've done here is I've added some um, white paint to the mixture here and poured this here. So it, it gives a sort of icy frozen effect. So I'm hoping now when I blend the snow and everything down here, it'll, it'll look a bit more, it'll fit into place. So we got that there and then we can go over the top. You can see I've done the same thing just with a bit of water or um, white paint, white acrylic in the mixture, just to give it that sort of cloudy ice look. So hopefully now I can blend it all in and uh, continue the scene. Let's put that back down. Let's move this back a bit so you can see what I'm doing. So the first thing I need to do is mask off, obviously the water area, because I don't want to get any glue or static grass or anything on that. So I'm going to get some tape and mask that off now shortly. <laughs> no real water. No, hi, not real water. Water. <laughs> I say if I miss your comment or your question, just keep posting it. And uh, I'll, I'm sure I'll pick it up at some point. Right, let's get cracking. So I do have my masking tape here somewhere. Again, this is uh, B&M's finest masking tape. When you're doing this sort of stuff, you want the, um, the sort of low tacky tape. If you're doing any sort of painting that you don't want paint bleed under, then that's when you want sort of the, uh, if you like the higher sticky masking tape to stop the paint bleeding underneath, but for this sort of thing, for masking off, you want the low tack stuff. And by low tack, it usually means the cheaper stuff. So obviously when you take it off, you don't want it to rip everything off with it. Gonna mask around the edges, and then I'm gonna put some uh, I just pulled out my uh, yeah, I just put some paper over it to mask the rest of it. So, have a quick look at the chat. So Jerry's having uh, apple pie with custard. Mm. Boss car, Jerry. Good evening, sir. How are you doing? Now, this is one of these things where you're like, what order should I do this in? I probably should have done the uh, grassing and everything before I put the waterfalls in. So what I'll do here, so obviously this is going to give some straight edges. So then what I'll do is I'll go around afterwards and I'll do a, a little bit of the... Uh, Static grassing and that, and placing snow to make it uneven so it doesn't, it's not straight edges afterwards. Uh, right, so um, paper. So, how's everyone's weather been with uh, wherever you are? Um, some of you guys have had it quite rough in the UK, which is a bit un <laughs> unusual because usually here in Denegal we get the brunt of it, but it seems everyone else has got it. We had a relatively, apart from yesterday, where there was a bit of wind and rain, but nothing more than we usually get here in Donegal. It was uh, it was okay.
Good evening, Jason. How are you doing? Jason, if you want to, you can keep posting those links for the channels that you were giving shout outs for. You want to keep posting them in the chat here, one every few minutes or whatever. Yeah, it was a dry, calm, sunny day here today as well, Tom, and then you go. It was uh, getting cold. I've lit the fire here tonight just to keep the chill out of the room. Right, if I mask that off long enough, I think I need a little bit over there. Just so. One thing is you don't want Of grass on your water. So, guys, don't forget to hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you're new here. And I say, if you've got any questions, stick them in the in the chat. And I'm, if I don't answer them, I'm sure uh, someone will. So, as always, I'm going to start off with uh, two mil static grass so this is uh, i think this is a summer green i'm just putting this down because it's going to be covered over with the white static grass for snow effect this is um woodland scenic two mil i don't get on very well with this stuff this is why i'm using it on here because it's going to be covered white um i just find the wws static grass works so much better for me um i don't know whether this grass would work better in Woodland Scenic Zone. Uh, Static King, I think they call their app. Oh, my teeth back in. Applicator. Put that up. I'd like to give it a little shake around. Just let the charge build up in it. Um, right. Oh. Where did I put my, right. I think the only noise we're gonna to have tonight is from the old trusty vacuum cleaner. So uh, what I'm gonna do is just vacuum this off this area because there's a little bit of debris on it. So I'm just gonna vacuum that off. So we'll get a bit noisy for a little while, guys. done nothing for all the stuff that was on there. Well, are you sure? Use a brush and just brush it off. There we go. All right, pick up the cam using the old layering spray. Give that a shake. I don't feel like there's much left in this can, but I did pick up a fresh can when I was at Get. Jason is drunk from the sweets. <laughs> Hi, Digger. How you doing? Hope you keep them well, sir. Noise from the vacuum cleaner. That sucks. Very good, Simon. No, I only on the Baileys. Uh, my drink of choice tonight is... Uh, little ginger ale. Right, so let's do a little bit at a time. I'm just after thinking I didn't uh, mask off the track, but hopefully I won't get any over that way. So, uh, ah, ah, yeah, and don't hold the clip next to the thing or you get a shock. Let me put this down again and reposition the camera. So, turn it up, keep the clip beside it, at constant movements. There we go. 
your thumbs tingling. Yeah, shocking. <laughs> I don't we're not swearing on air. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of uh, used to it now. That I'm well, not used to getting shocked, but used to like biting my tongue when I'm live now, not swearing. Joshua W56 Gaming, good evening, sir. How you doing? And Kieran J94, how you doing, Kieran? Jason's confetti cannon. When I was in Jason's loft there a few weeks ago, looking, I did have a look around to see if I could find any confetti lying around up there, I must admit. He said to me that he was cleaning up a week or two before I came over, and he said he's, he's still finding bits of it. Right, so in there we have got some, looks like there's bits of beige mixed in there. So I'm just going to empty that out. Looking at that, the way that's got mixed up with a bit of beige. That looks like a, I could use it for the flocking of the sheep. Right, let's uh, open a fresh pack of two mil snow and put it in the applicator. If I can get the bag open. Nothing blown away or flooded yet in Ireland. Um, I think um, Kieran, Storm Kieran, um, actually just skirted the south coast of Ireland. I know there was a bit of flooding down in Cork. Um, and I think there's a few people still without power. But I think you guys in the, in the south of the UK got it worse. Right, switch that on, swirl it around. Yeah. Swirl it around like you're swirling around a good wine. <laughs> oh, that's right, Jerry. Yeah, um, Downpatrick Railway in Newry. If you look them up, they um, got it quite bad. Their station and everything was flooded. I mean, they're one of the few um, railways that we have in the UK, heritage railways, and they got flooded. So do, if you look them up on Facebook, uh, Down Patrick Railway, what is it? Something in something Down Patrick Railway? I could never remember. Right, anyway, fresh sake. So now we're going to go over the green here with white for snow. So layering spray again. No, that's... This is where having two applicators is really handy when you're doing something like this. I'm just blending it into where. the green over here. Of course, what I didn't figure on was getting the applicator in underneath there, which I think what I'm going to have to do is uh, blow on it. Oh, 
Finish that off. Put some more whites in there. Yeah, the spray is the layering spray. I just, I've tried some different static grasses um, and systems, and to be honest, WWS just seems to work so well. I'm not sponsored by them, you know, although if Martin's wants and he wants to send me some free stuff, go right ahead. But uh, I just use it, I find it works, and that's why I use it. So that's the layering spray there. So spray it, put on your two mil, spray it again, put on your next layer, spray it again, next layer. Um, I'll show you this night. Right, I'm going to take the camera out of its holder. So stand by for shaky camera work. So there you can see how that hillside looks now. Let's take you out a little bit. And you can see what's actually helped on there is when I was putting the second layering spray on, it actually roughed up some of the two mil into clumps. And you can see now how that looks actually more effective with the snow on top of it. it instead of having you, a smooth surface, you've got that undulating surface. And of course, this is the problem area here when you've got a vertical one, especially when you've got <laughs> this in the way, <laughs> trying to get in there. So what I'll probably do is when I'm done, I'll see how it looks. And I can always get some of the grass on a piece of cardboard and just use a straw and just gently blow it on there and then blow the white on top of it. So there we go. So now we'll carry on and do that side. Right, what I'll do is I'll go over to the chat now and I'll look at the chat for a couple of minutes. So if you've got any questions, now's your chance to get them in. Sorry, I'm just trying to uh, get the camera moved a bit closer. Yeah, the Dublin show was on last weekend. I just couldn't get down to it, and it was on all three days over the bank holiday weekend, but I just couldn't get to it. Yeah, vertical sections, you won't um, see snow, um, but you need to have something on there, some sort of greenery. So, uh, you know, I'll probably just put some tufts or something like that on. Carl Shield, good evening, sir. How are you doing, Carl? Uh, which airline do I use when flying between Ireland and England? It, it depends where I'm going in England. Um, I'll either use EasyJet or Ryanair. Um, quite often I'll use EasyJet if I can because Belfast Airport is just closer to me um, unless Ryanair is flying out of Knock to somewhere because just going to Dublin is just such a pain. It's that little bit further, the parking's more expensive. Uh, yes, they do have more flights and you'll probably get it cheaper, but sometimes it's just not worth the hassle. Like when I went over to Manchester that I drove down to Dublin because all the flights from Belfast were fully booked. Whereas they had loads of flights on that day from Ryanair from Dublin because uh, Manchester United were playing at home that day. So there was about, I think, 10 flights there and back that day. Mark has his own private jet. Yeah, I wish. Actually, I, uh, for any of you who don't know, I, I did used to be a pilot and I used to teach people to fly. So I have flown a Cessna 172 across the Irish Sea a few times. Ah, Seamus, good evening, sir. How are you doing? Seamus 3D Lasercraft is uh, one of my fellow directors at the museum. And he's he's been working on a little project um, and he was showing it to me yesterday. Am I allowed to say anything about it yet, Seamus, or 
Do you want to wait till you've got the completed item so I can test it? Uh, Ryanair always cutting back their flights during uh, winter. They make a big announcement saying, oh, we're cutting back flights because of this, that, and the other. And it's like, well, simply you're just reducing your schedule for winter like you do every year. Just going to scroll back through the chat, just see if I missed anything. Uh, Brian, will I be at the museum? I don't know. If you're coming down this way, give me a shout. Uh, there is a few flights that go from Derry, but they tend to go to Glasgow or Heathrow or Stansted. There isn't a great choice of other uh, airports. Oh, good evening, Andy. Hot dog pilot. How are you doing, sir? Yeah, that metro link that they've been promising, I think, for the last 40 years, Joshua. Yeah, a lot of people are impressed with Ryanair, but, you know, Ryanair, it's a no frills airline, pretty much like EasyJet, although I think EasyJet are a bit more friendly, but you get what you pay for with Ryanair. If you pay $9.99 for a seat, what do you expect? You know, I find them to be... Not rude, but efficient, shall we say. You know, they get you on the flight, you get away. If you turn up with a bag that you haven't paid for, you're going to have to pay for it at the gate or you don't fly. And it's, you know, you're just uh, not defending them because they're Irish or anything like that. But I just find you get what you pay for in this life. And Ryanair is one of those things. Been hearing about Metrolink. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it has been going on a while, Jerry. Yeah, that's it, exactly, Leslie. It's uh, like I use them a lot because I was still living in the UK, but I was working in Dublin. So I was, and the company weren't paying for the flight. So I would book the flights. A sweet sort of time to book flights of Ryanair is usually about two months in advance. That's when you get the cheapest flight. But like if you're if you want to fly out Friday evening and fly back Monday morning, those are the premium time slots, and you have to get on them early to get the the cheap flights. <laughs> sort of demand, yeah, using it might help wind up the elastic band and uh, Fred Flintstone on the landing. Yeah, Foil Arms and Hog, they're uh, a comedy trio from Ireland. I think Anthony knows them. Um, they do sketches, put one out every Thursday, just like a one minute sketch, and they're going around doing live shows at the moment. A lot of it is very uh, Irish humor. You know, you would have to be Irish to get some of the stuff. But they're doing it. They do tours, states, Australia. They're doing one around the UK and Ireland at the moment. So they are they're quite popular. Right, let's get on and do this section here now.
Oh, it's Clive popped in. Hi, Clive. How are you doing? Right now, you pay extra for a seat, even more if it's inside. <laughs> Right, let's get on. And again, I didn't mask off the road, so. Oh, I think that can's run out. All right, let's go and shake it on. Keep it moving. See this? Um, I just find this uh, static grass from Woodland Scenic just doesn't stand up. It's just, it's too thick. So by um, just using it as a basing layer, um, for the Woodland Scenic stuff, it does the fine, job fine. It just gives a hint of green underneath the snow. that. Let's put a little bit more white in. We might go and put a few trees in place as well. Right. That's dead. I think this is the one with the block nozzle that I haven't unblocked yet. Put that to one side. Actually, I should be able to take take the nozzle off the dead one. And put that on. No, no. Oh, great! They're two different nozzles. <laughs> right, that's not going to work. That's probably why that one got flopped. Okay, so we still have to clean that nozzle. Away. Let's put that to one side and I'll open one of my fresh cans. Ooh, that one does have any uh, balls in it. Mm. Uh, you should be able to hoover off straight away, Seamus. Oh, there's the ball. Come loose. If you take it off using a stocking to keep it, but uh, I'm using it on there now. And I'm going to spray it with the layering spray. And you can see. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, the way it's actually, the spray is roughing it up, roughening it up. And we want the white over the top. Oh, look, it's snowing. And say, so keep it moving. Oh, there we go. Right. 
might actually just give that another spray in a second and go over it again because it doesn't seem to be as thick here as it does on the other side. McKing447, good evening, sir. Exactly, Leslie, who said they were hers. <laughs> Although I have four daughters, so I have no end of uh, makeup brushes and uh, stockings and such things. Although the Ella's daughter, she would be here nicking the makeup brushes and everything for her modeling. She, she would be using them for makeup. Sorry, Valerie, were you asking how it actually works? So for anybody who don't know about static grass and how it works, I'll just explain it briefly. So you have your static grass, which are basically uh, fibers, and these come in various lengths. This is the snow here, so it's in two mil length fibers. And then you have four mil, six mil, seven mil, eight mil, up to 12 mil. The system I use is the WWS. So you have your layering spray, you spray that on as your base glue. You put the fibers in the applicator, switch it on. That puts a charge on it, which makes it stand up. And then you just spray it over, sprinkle it over, keeping it moving all the time, keeping the clip near here. You'll see some people where they have it grinded and stuff like that. You don't need to do that. You just need it, keep it beside it. The trick is to keep it moving as you go. Don't stay in one place because you'll end up with a pile there. You just move it around. Um, I also find as well, um, the weather can play a factor. If it's quite cold or too warm, it doesn't seem to work as well. Whereas if you want to, I think about 18 degrees is sort of the, uh, the ideal temperature. And humidity can affect it as well. Instant pink weathering. <laughs> no, I make sure all mines are clean. I used my girlfriend's stock to Hoover Static Grass, didn't tell her, and she wondered why her leg was itchy. <laughs> I got some strange looks when I bought makeup brushes, hairspray, and eyeshadow in the supermarket. I'm a 16 stone biker. <laughs> the, the snow is basically just white static grass. It's two mil static grass. Uh, no, Seamus, that's one of the things they, that you think it has to be, but as long as it's beside it, it, it seems to work fine. Um, I don't use the basin glue because I don't have any. Um, I just use the spray, and that seems to work fine. Because when you're, I just find when you're doing this sort of thing, you're layering it up so much, there's... <laughs> There's enough glue there to seep down through everything and it just holds everything in place. Class 37 lover, good evening, sir. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Don't forget to hit that like button for me, guys, and subscribe if you're new here. Any questions, pop them in the chat. Uh, don't forget, as well, if one of the mods could put up the nomination link for the moderators. Um, something me and Jason discussed when I was over at Vidstam that we should do something for our mods because they're a fantastic help when we're doing our live streams here. Um, I couldn't do it without them. You know, they're putting in links, they're watching out for spammers and bots and everything and deleting. I mean, half the time, I don't even see any of the stuff they have deleted before I even spot it. So they do an excellent job. So we thought we'd have this little thing just to recognize the moderators and uh, West Hill Wagon Works have put up a prize for the winner, which is great of them. We, they offered to do it. So thanks very much to them for doing that. 
Oh, I have something to show you as well. Uh, Graham uh, Lementing, Lementing, Lementing Station um, is designing his new railway. He's rebuilding it. Um, he's got a track plan, which I will share to you now so you can have a look at. Uh, if I remember how to do this on here. Screen. So that is the track plan he's working on. Have a look at it. Graham, if you're listening, I know he's probably working tonight, but he's probably listening in the background. Note this time so you can go back and have a look at any comments that are made. Oh, hi, Stuart, St. Mary's Church Model Railway. How are you doing? Hope you're keeping well, sir. Moreland Model Railway, Andy. Good evening, Andy. How are you keeping? I always get nervous when uh, Moreland Model Railway Andy comes into the stream because if you haven't checked out his channel, check some of the stuff he does. He does some amazing dioramas and work on his layout. He does fantastic work. Some of the stuff he does, I'm just blown away. So do check him out. All right, while well, you're looking at that track plan and seeing what you think and making any comments on it, I'm just going to go over this again with some layering spray and do a little bit, bit more snow on it. And I've run out some more on the hopper. What time is it now anyway? Well, it's quarter past eight. Have you guys all been keeping track of uh, Peter Waltman's model railway and friends or whatever it's called that's on Thursday evenings? Seems to be a good show. Hi, Alan White, how you doing? Yeah, he's staying with Double O. Um, he's got a smaller space now than he uh, he previously had, and he's been. He was at Getz, and we were chatting about it and everything. And he actually went to the uh, one of the planners there and got some ideas. And this is what he's come up with. I think this is what he's going for. But he's just looking for some comments and feedback and see if you guys think of anything else he could do or differently or. Layouts for the rich. I mean, yeah, I suppose it is. But like the one, um, Eddie Izzard's one, I, I, like he didn't actually do much of it. He's got a team of modelers there, a club who's, who's doing it all. But it's good that he's doing it and supporting it and everything. It's, we could all do with people like that in there. Well, it's showing me I've got 50 people in the chat. I think that's the highest I've ever reached. So keep hitting that like button for me, guys, and uh, share the stream as well. Right. Um, have you seen that enough? What I'll do is I'll stop sharing that now. And I'll come back and show you what I've done. If it will stop sharing. There we go. Yeah, it is good publicity for the hobby using celebs, you know, because like, a, I suppose model railways and railways and that was almost like a, a nerdy thing. People stuck away in their loft or garden sheds doing it. But uh, it seems to be a lot cooler now to be a nerd. I think I was born about 40 years too late. So there we have, actually, you know what, I'm going to take it off the... Uh, the stand. 
So shaky camera work coming up. So there is the hillside. It goes down the river and up the other side. And then along here, it looks like a storm's hit. That's where all the trees are sitting. So you can see down here on the bridge piers, there's a bit of snow now. I'll be cleaning some of that off, obviously when the piers go in place. That's it, so I have the buildings to put in over there. Um, I'm hoping now this weekend to do a lot of work on this because uh, this weekend now will be the first weekend in about four weeks where I'm actually free to do stuff. It's not based in anywhere. It's just basically, this is just over eight foot long, so it can fit on my window. So it will be going into um, the museum. So it'll be on display in the museum during our Santa event. So it'll be something for the kids to look at and see the trains go up and down, what have you. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take the roof off the, uh, let me turn this around now. And I'm going to put some glue on that. And then I'm going to use some of the Woodland Scenics Soft Flake Snow on there just to see how it looks. Because I think I'm using this on the rails. Um, and I'm going to put some on the roofs now and use put it on the platforms and that sort of thing. So I'm, this is going to be a test just to see how it looks. Martin, Shedmouth Junction, good evening, sir. How are you doing? Which reminds me, Martin, you're doing a live stream on Saturday, aren't you? Um, so people check out his live stream and his channel. He's usually a, a good laugh, him and his daughter, Evie. It's just, they've got such a lovely dynamic together. It's really nice. It's a really nice, friendly channel. Um, and I think Brian Finnerton, are you doing a live stream earlier in the evening as well? And I'm not sure if Rob and Grace RGJ trains are doing a stream Saturday night as well. I lose track now of everybody who's doing streams. Yeah, because I think Brian was going at six from Finnerton Junction, no, Finnerton Station. So I can't remember your, <laughs> your channel name now, Brian. Um, and Martin was going to go from Shedmouth at seven o'clock, and then RG Chains are on Saturday from eight. I think. But you can fight amongst yourselves. Finnerton Central. Sorry, Brian. I should know that. Right, uh, I'm just going to use some Mod Podge because that's the glue that was sitting right beside me. Yeah, the brush. First off, just brush it off, dust it off. And we'll just paint on some Mod Podge. Because what I've also got is some of the uh, water effects. Um, I'm trying to use that to make icicles as well. So we'll have a look at that, see how this turns out, and then we'll see if we can stick a few icicles to the front of it as well. If I 
Move that out of the way. Brian's got his monthly, has he? Right, okay. <laughs> Oh, and guys, I will not be here next Thursday. Um, I'm taking a week off because it is middle child Anna, who some of you would have met. Uh, she's been at a few shows with me. Uh, she, It will be her 18th birthday next Thursday, so we're going to be doing something for her birthday. So I won't be around. Just shaking this on way too thick. See, I'm uh, put it on a piece of paper so I can shake it off and reuse it. So let's just tap that off and see how that looks. Hmm, doesn't look too bad. I don't want it looking too thick because it's not really heavy. It's just a dusting of snow. So I'm gonna. And then using a bit of paper, I can put it back in the tub. I hope there's no glue on that. So let's do the other one on the other side as well. No cage figure, paint it white and start it grass so you have a Yeti. <laughs> Sorry, Valerie, I missed, I've seen Flymo was answering you there. What uh, What was the question there? Was it what the water was? If it was, it is Realistic Water by Woodland Scenic. Um, wouldn't recommend. Um, it reacts with PVA. It also, um, it doesn't, although it feels hard, apparently it doesn't set completely hard. So if I store this tilted upwards and not flat, it will ooze over time. So um, I think resin is the way to go. I think I've seen Andy say something about using a strainer. That's not a bad idea. I've got one over here. One strainer. And address model railway. Okay, take care. I'll catch you again. All right, so. Let's yeah, that's a lot easier to do. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I have a strainer, oh, as you can see, to do that sort of stuff. There we go. On the roof. So I'll leave that up there to dry. And what else do I need to do? As I say, now this weekend I'm hoping to do a bit of work on this. So, because you know, it's uh, 
It's first of, well, second of November now, and it's full pelt into Christmas now. Halloween's out of the way. That's it. There's no stopping Christmas now. Right, so have you guys all <laughs> sorted out your live streams that now? What time's everyone going at? Leicester Station TMD, Gary, good evening, sir. How are you doing? Yeah, I suppose we can officially say it's a Christmas layout now. Now we're into November. Before that, it was a winter layout, but now it's a Christmas layout. Snow that needs to be glued. Yeah, this is um, soft flake snow by Woodland Scenic. So this is basically it looks like salt, <laughs> white, well, whiter than salt. So that sort of grain size of salt. Um, so I've just used Mod Podge on top of there, shaked it on, shaked off the excess, leave it to dry, and I'll put it back on. So you have to say this weekend I'm hoping to do a lot of work to this. Get the majority of it done, so hopefully it'll uh, it'll be done, ready to go into the window. Um, really, what I've got left to do now is let's actually just it round. So I've got buildings to put in here. They're all wired. I've done that on one live stream. They're ready to go in, be connected up to the bus. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a little circle with snow on it to put the Christmas tree on with lights, put that in the middle. Um, obviously I need to do the snow on the track all around here, put the fence in here. Let's go in sort of along the roadway here and then put the viaduct in place and then do the fascia boards at the front, paint that black. And then we should be, should be good to go. So we've got Brian Finnerton Central will be at six, then Martin Shedmouth Junction will be on at 7.30, and then RG, RGJ Trains will be on at 8.30. So there's your Saturday evening sorted, guys. Live streams all the way through. Are you guys going to be doing anything particular in your streams? Oh, it's Pete taking off. Which Pete is that? <laughs> okay, Dove Junction. Actually, I'm going to put a link to your channel up because he became a channel member there during the week. So do go and check him out, please, guys. Or is that one that has uh, Flymo or somebody already posted that one. I'm just going to find it and post it again, and that, uh, that sorts that out. Oh, it's half eight already. Let me just find his channel. You know, if I was any good, I'd have all these links prepared beforehand so I could just copy and paste, but... I still haven't mastered the thing of being able to talk and do something else at the same time. By the time I get back to the chat, somebody already posted it. So Martin, you're going to be building one of EV's special trains. I, I love EV's trains. Um, actually, the was it the Easter one she done? I'd love to actually get one of those so we could run it on our layouts in the museum at Easter. Yeah. 
Steady on there, Mark. It's standing from Auto Railway. I prefer your nicely shaped bumpy bits, Grace. That's uh SHGP Media, good evening, sir. That's a name I don't think I've seen in here before. Hope you're keeping well. Thanks for coming along. Yeah. Anthony says there's another um, channel to watch out Friday evenings. Anthony Dodge, the model train outsider. He has uh, Markland trains, mostly modeled on old German. He has a couple of English ones that he runs on the floor but uh, usually good for a chat. <laughs> Let me say, oh, my mountain's only at a pole, what it should be called. <laughs> Tomorrow I get to talk about the hate mail for my new Flying Scott, 90%. But wow, some real angry folks too. Really? I, it, it just, whenever I get one of those sort of comments or anything, it just makes me laugh and I just go delete block. You know, it's life too short for that sort of stuff. Just like, really? It's, it's model trains. We're all trying, trying to have some fun here. Jason, the train fleet. Good evening, sir. How are you keeping? Yeah, it's all right, Mark. I know. I know it was a joke. I'm not. Uh, as we say in Ireland, you're only having the crack, which can be taken several different ways. All right. So, dodgy camera work again. I'll just put the uh, roof back on that. So you got the halt there now with the snow on it. So a bit more snow now on the platform. Um, I'll probably have to rest a bit of snow on the top of the lights as well. And then, we'll have, oh, need to do this as well. Might as well do that now as well, do the roof on that. Well, I'll be calling it a night soon anyway, guys, because uh, I'm sure you guys want to get onto channel, is it E4 or more 4 it's on? I'm just going to give that a wipe off. Hmm. Why is that coming off an orange? These are just uh, alcohol swabs. Um, I have loads of these from a previous career as a IT technician. You've always had them for cleaning off processors and that before you put new processors on. Yeah, I think Valerie, I think everyone can go over to your channel and check it out. You're actually a mod, Valerie, so you should be able to put a link to your channel in, just copy and paste it into the chat. It's on more four, is it? This is a sloped roof, so how is the snow going to lie on a sloped roof? I'm trying to do this without getting any glue on my fingers, because then you end up everything stuck to yourself. I'll 
just realized the camera's not pointing at what I'm doing. So we got the roof off the signal box. Still have to make a roof for the other signal box. So it's only a, a light dusting, just to give the effect. So I will actually, I'm going to let that dry because there's a little bit of glue in there. And if I put it on, it's going to stick to it. So I'll just leave that to dry before I put it on. All right, there we go. Sadly, Aunt Mooney Flying Scotsman is a Marmite loco. Some like it and others hate it with a vengeance. Second engine I ever bought was a Flying Scotsman. And it was the Flying Scotsman set I bought in the early 90s. Hornby set, Flying Scotsman, three LNR teak coaches. Right, I think I will call it a day there, guys. Um, we get tidied up here and go off and watch uh, the train show on at nine. I think somebody said it was E4. Or was it more four? So I've forgotten already. Got a head like a sieve. So just for anybody who's there new and they've joined in the background, I'll just give you an overview of what I'm doing here. This is my, I'm going to officially call it now, a Christmas layout. It's just over eight foot long. It's an end to end. It's got a little shuttle on there, which also controls the signals. And the train will just shuttle backwards and forwards. I've got hillsides here. Here, masked up at the moment, is my water scene, which is actually the video that's out tomorrow. Channel members have already seen it on how I done it. And over here. We've got a station either end, again, with light signal. So the uh, loco will just shuttle up and down between the two. We'll be spreading these trees around it. More four. Okay, it's more four. <laughs> so there we are. So I've got a viaduct to go in here. Where are we? In there. And the, all this is going to be faced off, painted black. And it's going to sit in the museum for the Santa event. And then it'll be coming into my house over Christmas, sitting in my windowsill. So that's what I'm doing here. All the videos I've done on making this are all on my channel, if you want to go and check them out. And this is actually sitting on my current layout I'm building. You can see the mess all around here. So I want this out of here so I can carry on with my building my main layout. Did you see Mark over there He's needing advice on a shuttle setup? No, I haven't seen that. I'll have to look at it. Actually, thinking about it now, have I been unsubscribed from his channel because I haven't seen any of his videos pop up on my feed recently? I'll have to go and check that out. So thanks for tuning in, guys. As I say I won't be here next week because celebrating my daughter's 18th so I can finally kick her out of the house. Um, 
but uh, I'll be back the following week. Video out tomorrow on the water and the waterfall effects that I've done on there. And I'll be back the following Thursday for a live stream. I think Jason's going to extend his live stream next week. So to cover me not being here. So um, you've all seen Leamington Station's plan. You can all go onto his channel and leave any comments on there about it. On um, I don't know if you put it up on your community tab and um, people can comment on it there. So thanks everyone for tuning in tonight. It's great having your company. Doing a little bit of work on the layout. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and subscribe if you're new here. And thanks for coming along. Everyone have a, a great week. Uh, well, I'll see you in two weeks' time. So I'm going to say good night and thanks for watching and keep on modeling. <laughs>